All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Paul, AKA Modern Reefer. And today we're gonna take a look at fixing my Orphic LED lights. my Orphic Atlantic V4 uh, Gen 2 lights and uh, some of these LEDs have uh, died on me and so um, you know just with uh, like all LEDs uh, they started flickering and then they started dying um, and so I do have a few of them that are dead I went ahead and put tape on the ones that were out and then um, I contacted Orphix and they were nice enough to send me replacement LEDs. So basically I had to wait until the LEDs came in before I could perform this, but I did take a note of all the ones that were dead and then I went to Orphix website and noted the um, actual spectrum LEDs that I needed. Sent that off to Orphix and uh, they sent me out replacement LEDs. Now, um, I did receive the LEDs, and then uh, since then I did have a few others that uh, died out. Um, and so I actually had some on hand, and so I just decided to use the ones that I had to replace the ones that um, I didn't ask for from Orphic. Um, and so basically, just um, take a note, if you're doing this for yourself, making your own, your own repairs, um, I would highly, advise you to ask Orphix for the replacement LEDs because the one that they have are dual chips. Um, the ones that you get off of Amazon and eBay will work just fine, although they are single chips. Um, and so just keep that in mind if you're doing this uh, by yourself and you're ordering the LEDs by yourself. All right, so first things first, make sure to um, have a good working station or a good spot where you can do this. Um, I had to enlist my son to help me with removing the lights um, and at the same time being that they were dusty uh, this gave me the opportunity to actually uh, take the whole unit apart and then um, blow it off with my air compressor. Alright so if you haven't noticed these rails are from the aqua illumination old uh, aquarium LED light uh, mounting kit. So I do have a video on that and I'll link that above where you can see how these were made. But I did have to go through the process of removing those rails before I can get to the lights and start taking them apart. Okay, so here is my desk set up here. These are the 410 nanometers that I received from Orphic. Um, I did receive some uh, of the other ones too, like the 420 nanometer. Um, and then I have some of my own here that I've been collecting over the years and uh, that I've purchased from uh, Amazon and eBay. So here are some of them here. So these are the ones that I'm going to be using to replace the ones on my Orphix. Um, and so first things first, I have to uh, take the whole unit apart so that I can get to the actual LEDs themselves. Just a, a quick note, I did put um, a tape on the actual LEDs that were out and I kind of you know, labeled them just so that I knew uh, which ones I needed so that way when I contacted Orphix, uh, they could send me the ones I needed. All right, so I fast forwarded through all this and I have the back panel off. What I'm working on here is taking that metal side bezel off and it has the antenna right on it. so. When you're doing this, just be careful because that wire is pretty fragile. So you have to take off the uh, antenna, which just pops off. And then also you have to take a smaller flat um, screwdriver and unscrew the power cable from the motherboard. If you are unsure on the tools to get or what tools needed, check out the description below. I'll post them down there and then um, you can actually check out the links to the actual tools that I'm using. All right, bezel is off and I just took this unit to be um, cleaned up a bit. So I use my air compressor to blow the heat sink and the motherboard. And here I am working on the front. There's actually four um, 
screws in the uh, top here that you have to remove and then once that comes off the whole top uh, acrylic assembly comes apart at this point you want to be very careful not to scratch the uh, lens itself um, I take off four screws without uh, scratching the top and then what I'm doing here is I'm placing the actual acrylic the top piece I'm putting it um, right in front of my uh, LED light here because I'm going to reuse that and then these metal uh, middle layers I'm taking them off and setting them aside all right so what I'm doing here is I'm actually pulling off the uh, LED caps and I'm using that top layer where I have the masking tape on to kind of line up so I know which of the uh, lens cap to take off and then I go through this um, so that I know which one I'm going to be working on and then from there I can go ahead and start removing them okay so now on to desoldering the actual LEDs um, there is a positive and negative annotation on the actual LED uh, circuit board so that is there to let you know which side is positive and uh, which side is negative here I'm working on uh, desoldering one of the LED legs here and um, it was a bit of a challenge I had to keep cleaning my tip but to make this easier for you I actually decided to add on some fresh solder right on top of it to kind of melt it all the way through before I can uh, pry that pin up uh, and so I did that on both sides but taking the actual LED off the circuit board was also a challenge because it was kind of glued on in a sense and so to get uh, the actual LEDs off cleanly I had to just knock him off with a um, flathead and a uh, hammer and, and I kind of chiseled them off so to speak all right so you want to make sure you apply some of these heat sink paste um, onto the actual board that way heat will transfer from the LED to the board to ensure um, that the LED lasts long the other thing is to make note of the polarity make sure that um, the plus on the actual LED is uh, soldered onto plus on the uh, actual board itself and if you look closely at the LED the uh, both legs are actually marked one with a plus sign and one with a minus sign so that'll help you out there and when you're soldering just to make sure you know you want to make sure you do it um, one at a time but I usually just do one leg first and make sure it's centered before finishing off the other leg and at the same time when I'm soldering I'm pushing down on the LED just to make sure that it's flush against the board again if you have any questions on the soldering tools that I'm using you know the temperature where I'm setting things to the uh, uh, pace for the heat sink um, check out the description below I'll put it down there and that way you can reference it in case you're doing the same job that I'm doing here and you need the tools that I'm using okay so here's a close-up of one that I was working on this is the 420 nanometer and the good thing about these PCB boards is that they actually um, print that onto the um, side of the uh, LED so if you look closely you'll see it says 420 right on top of the LED um, and that's the case with all of these so if you take these caps off you know exactly which uh, nanometer range LED goes into which uh, uh, slot there okay so I actually went ahead and finished up all the LED lights and I'm putting the actual lens cap back on um, if you have different um, lens cap from Orfix uh, and you want to swap them out now would probably be the uh, time to do that uh, but what I did here was I just pretty much reverse the uh, disassembly part now I'm assembling everything back on and I'm just making sure that um, uh, I'm putting everything the way it's supposed to be put back on um, that way when they go back into my tank uh, the cables and everything is pointed the right way okay so when you're assembling your whole lights uh, together make sure to not forget the antenna I did forget that on mine and so I'll probably have to work on getting that uh, whole unit opened up again just so I can plug in the antenna uh, but yeah you know I totally forgot about that just want to make sure that you don't forget about it when you're working on yours and here it is here just uh, finalizing everything I'm putting the housing back on the power cable 
Of course, I forgot the antenna, but hopefully you don't do that. Um, and then afterwards, I will be mounting this back onto my system. And mind you, I'm doing this at like one in the morning because I'm doing it after lights out. I'm taking the unit apart, doing this in my garage, getting everything done, setting it back up so that way it's back up and running um, in the morning. All right, so again, um, if you are unsure of the tools that I'm using, uh, go ahead and check out the description. I will post them down there, the tools, the LEDs, and where you can get them, and that way you can get your job going as smooth as possible. All right, guys, so thank you for stopping by, and I hope that gives you a bit of information on how you can repair your own LED lights. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to drop them down in the comments section. Uh, again, like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.